win. And we're gonna carry on. No. Why can't I have nice things? This. This is why. Just putting up a few torches here. So next time I don't have to deal with these fools. Whoa, that's blue. Uh, sorry guys, I know I'm moving around pretty quick, but I'm just trying to make sure I clear out enough of this area that we don't have the same problem the next time I want to give everything a nice look. I'm assuming that this is intersection 2 here based on the cross nature of it. This I may be over illuminating a bit, but at this point no such thing as too careful. Uh although I guess if it was so careful that it was no longer entertaining, then that would be a such a thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna build myself some little stairs back up here. I still hear skeletons, but I'm hoping that they're spawning somewhere that they ain't a trouble to me. Oh boy. Well, this looks mighty perilous. I'm not thrilled. Oh, I'm gonna have to get up there and illuminate that, but in the meantime, let's uh, just build this bridge here. Well, if this is gonna be the trend in intersections, that they get progressively more dangerous, then, you know, that's kinda scary, cause I'm already frightened. So, you know, what did I hit? Oh god, that that almost killed me right there. That one was a... He can use the pressure plate tracks to make things fall. I knew that on a intellectual level, but, whoops, the idea of such a cruelty is horrible and horrifying. Just get as much light in here as I can all the way through. Well, that place sounds horrible and dark and I don't have a lot of health. So, back this way. So it looks like, well, it doesn't matter what time of day it is because this place has an open roof, uh, or sorry, a closed roof. Whoops. Okay, so patch that little hole. Caves of Confusion. That seems to be some sort of ASCII face there. Whoops. Uh, East Commons. Pain Water. Castle NVIDIA. Well, that sounds frightening too. All of this sounds pretty frightening. Well, what I think I'm going to do is just light up as much as I can just now as a forward mission for each of these places whoops and uh, so that way later on when I want to come through I'm not worried about getting jumped quite so much oh good this one is a giant pit well so that's that So I'll need to bring some sand along. Well, I mean, I have a little sand, but I'll have to bring something that I can easily dig down with on that one. Okay, and this one is pain water, and it seems to have water and lava together on it, which sounds horrible. 
Did you ever play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the original NES? That is one of the hardest games ever. I'm scared now. Did you remember the damn stage with the seaweed? Yes, damn, not damn. Yeah, yeah, I'm a jerk. Okay, so it looks like whatever this is is going to be absolutely horrible forever, and I am scared to go in there because that's probably a trap. What does that say? Well, it's a heart. Okay, well, so we got a bunch of lava and a bunch of water. And this is pain water, which could mean any number of things. Uh, I'm not a linguologist or a linguist, if you will, but I'm assuming that, okay, and there's water right there in the middle too, okay. Well, I don't have a diamond pick, and so any way that the two of these meet could get very bad for me very quickly. So, huh. Well, I'm going to go continue my survey and check out the other areas. I probably should have brought a clock with me so I'd know the time of day when I turned. I think I'm going to want to build a forward base somewhere in here, but the problem with building too close to any established structure is that it may well be some sort of horrible, horrible trap. So I'm going to have to think about that one a little bit. Okay, so there's a skeleton down there. i got to get up there before I do aught else. And of course, I have misplaced my pillar. Come on. I have no idea why I thought that would work. I'm not really the best at some of the spatial reasoning required to pillar and do things like that. This should deter some of the most horrible creeper attacks at coming down on me from above. As death from above is generally, in most cultures, considered a negative. So I'm just going to come back here and peel it back down. Well, so here we are. Intersection 2. I think this is going to be a good place uh, for me to stop uh, and pause the video while I go ahead and grab some healing items and that which I may need to move my base forward. So thanks for watching. See y'all next time.